Well, hello there. Welcome to a Blender tutorial. Um, this is my attempt at a series called Blender for Dummies. And it's going to start off really easy and hopefully get complicated and everybody will learn lots of stuff. So this is the first one. Um, starting out uh, basically showing you the interface. Although I've done this before and let's build a sim since this is a new series, I thought I'd repeat this information. So anyways, so we're using 2.63, they're up to 2.67. Um, they look slightly different, but they both work the same way. So here we are. Uh, usually when you open it up, you get a default cube just like this. And this will be open as well. Uh, got all kind of measurements and view and whatnot. Um, and we get this default cube. So I thought I'd show a few things off with this first. Okay, so this is our main screen, just like this. this is our screen that we're going to be working in right now. So Shift-C will center the screen. So we have number pad 1 is like front, number pad 3 is right, number pad 5 is the other right, I don't know how to <laughs> explain it, and number pad 7 is top, and we use those a lot. So the other thing we do, um, well I'm going to delete this cube right now, so X to delete. The other thing we do a lot is move around. You can do it using our mouse, scrolling in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Or you can hold the shift key and the middle mouse button down and you can move the whole dang thing over. Now the other thing that is kind of unique to Blender is uh, something called the 3D cursor. That's this, when I click my left mouse button, this little circle thingy with a target in the middle moves around. And what that is, is uh, you can move it anywhere and you can snap things to it or you can spawn another object there. So shift A, add a cube, it's gonna spawn at the 3D cursor. So that's kind of handy. So the other window quite, of quite often what we need to do is um, make change our work area. Um, so you do that by joining areas or splitting areas. Split. Split. Split this some more. I guess I'll join that. I don't know. Anyways, so that's all you do is you that's not I don't know if I'm even showing anything doing this, but it's kind of how you do these things. You can move the button bar up. Join it. You can split it again. This is my favorite in 3D view. And here we'd have our other view quite on. I do a lot of modeling, so this is where I would have my textures and UV maps. So let's say you create a desktop that you like, then you can save it. Save user preference settings. Okay, so, and that's gonna save your scene. Although in the newest uh, version of it, the default is usually is the most popular anyways now. They've changed it and it's pretty much this split screen, but with the cube. So just if you want to save yourself some work, you delete the cube and save your settings. Um, okay, I don't really know what else to say about it at this point in time. Um, this is animation down at the bottom. Um, if you want to uh, add in some extra add-ons, you would go into user preferences. I have a lot already, 
but uh, this is all your add-ons. See that at the top they have add-ons here. And this is like really important for us. Um, except I don't think I need to add anymore. I've got my exporters and whatnot. So this is where you would find them. You'd load them into the file folder and then they pop up here and you'd check it in. Motion capture. Don't need that. Anyhow, so that's our user preferences and then you'd save it as default. So I don't know if there's much else we can do there. Now I thought I'd go over the basics of what modeling is. Is a lot of extruding, mirroring, and moving vertexes around. Uh, eventually you kind of get more sophisticated, but I thought, thought I'd start by building a gingerbread man and, uh, and we'll make a move in the, in the next uh, tutorial. So shift A. Oops. Why do I want to build a gingerbread man? I'm calling him a stick man. Gingerbread? I like stick man. I don't know. For some reason. Anyways, shift A. Here's our cube. Edit mode. It's got four vertexes on the top. Or you've got faces. Or you got edges. So faces. I don't... Well, sometimes I guess I do use edges a lot too. So shift C. Now let's say uh, how do I don't my stick man. I'll just uh, pull up the this to start with. And this is stick man, two legs and two arms and a head. So our next thing is we're gonna select loop, cut inside, page up a bunch of times to make the loops more. Was that too fast? <laughs> so, uh, and then I'm gonna do one down the center here. Well, two. Let's do two. There we go. Page up once. And so we will give us two vertexes. So, I'm gonna do another one in the middle because I think that's not gonna work. There we go. Oops. So there's our basic stick man that we're going to work with. So now what I'm going to do is uh, make an arm. E on the Y axis. There's one arm. This thing needs to kind of go that way. So there's one arm. And then I guess select two. I guess I didn't need to divide them down the middle. Well, maybe I did. Extrude. Pull them on the Z axis. Does that look like a stick man? I guess it does. And uh, that should be done with that. Now you say you've only done one side. And I say, yes I have. And you say, but why? And I say, because I'm going to make him identical on both sides. So I pressed in this button down here so I can see everything. And I press B and then I oops A A gets selects everything or deselects every selects everything or deselects. So we're gonna do that again. I pressed B and then I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna press X and then I'm going to delete the faces. Now I'm going to use oh, maybe not yet. Is that right for stick man? I guess. Now we're going to go over to this console on the I left handed on the right. Ha! Select modifiers, look for mirror, and we're gonna mirror it in the y-axis. There we are. And now he's identical on both sides. Oh, I didn't 
do something right, so I'm gonna fix it. And delete these faces. X. There we go. So there we are on the top. I guess I need to make a head. Well, a neck. I need to make a neck. So we're gonna leave that modifier like that. And then we're going to press extrude. And I'm gonna pull it up on the Z axis. And then we're going to extrude it one more time. I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to pull it on the Y axis and I'm going to pull it up this way. I don't know, that looked great. I guess that's okay. And then I'm going to press edges. Kind of a blockhead, eh? I think he's almost done. I'm gonna put loop cut and slide. That's kind of circular. Maybe we need to make it a bit bigger. Say that classifies as a gingerbread man or stick man. Gingerbread man? A gingerbread man is kind of more fumfy. Can we make him a little more fumfy? So we've got that there now. He's pretty much done. Maybe I'll make him a little sort of roundier along the. Because he's kind of like flat. Yeah, that's not quite what I had in mind. Um, Chubby looking. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, that's good.
don't know whether you like that or not. Anyways, I kind of like this kind of, I don't know how to call it, kitty-like stuff. Now I've, I've done all the modeling that I'm going to do using that mirror, so I press apply and now it's one giant mesh. So, and then we just kind of clean up some of the bits and parts to it if we need to. And in fact we do. apply a material so we go over to this right hand panel and we go to the little button that says material we press new and we assign one and maybe we want to give it a name stickman now stickmen are usually black I don't know whether we want a black stickman so I'll make them kind of funny color so there he is now we'll press smooth and flat shading. What do you think? I don't know, kind of looks... You know Gumby? I like Gumby. I, I want to do a, an animation like that one day too. So I guess this is kind of reminiscent of Gumby days. So... We move doubles. We don't have any. We calculate it. I'm going to turn on textured for a second. Flip direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not quite right. So if we want to make sure all our faces are flipping the right way, we would go into textured mode. Because it's easy. There's other ways to do it, but I don't use them a lot right now. I do it this way. Because I'm not the scientific type. I'm a, kind of a draw drawer type. And if you put this little checkerboard thing on, it turns on textures, and you'll be able to see where the holes are. So back to solid. So there's our dude. Um, you might want to texture him, I don't know. But for this, this is all we're going to do because this is like a beginner's um, thing. And that's probably enough for you to try and make a funny looking stick man. Kind of reminiscent of Gumby and his cohorts. So there we are. We'll see you another time. This is Blender for Dummies, and I'm gonna tell you, if I can learn how to use Blender, any man can, any, anyone can learn how to use Blender. So there we are. Uh, we'll see you in part two.
two of this stickman thing that we're gonna do. Why? Thank you. 